Pippa's there somewhere. Who are you, Pippa? There you are. She's come a long way with um, her training. She's literally just turned three. And she's doing real good. So she follows in behind or in front, wherever I want her. So I took her through the Blueprint training program. And it's been really good for her. Um, Pepper's my first dog, so I think it was really good foundational program. Teaching all the basics and then a lot of the command and control work. Paying off big time. Shot four deer over here now. Five. Just trying to work my way around bulls up there. So yeah, we're just sliding around here. We had a good glass through here. I haven't picked anything up. Keep keep tracking along up here. I've got a vantage point here. The wind is coming this way area that I'm wanting to shoot down. It's good for the piece and it's working well. Um, I'm probably going to be another hour and a half until dusk. So I've got plenty of time today. Yes. Yes. Pepper's excited. Very young. Um, Sociable. She's a very sociable dog. Loves to be very close by. Very good companion on um, hunting trips. And she uh, indicates deer too. And finds them, which is helpful. Okay guys, there we go. There's our first deer. And there's also one just in behind that bush to the right. It's a light coloured one. See it there. I'm going to try and get myself down to here to get a shot across at it. If we can. A bit far from here and it's actually quite windy. Yep, steer down. Yep, get out of it. Yep, two deer down. far out that was something else I'm actually shaking a bit it's one thing with the suppressor is the ear protection my ears are ringing now used to shooting um with the suppressor on so yeah 
anyway i'm just going to exactly pinpoint where these deer are and then i'm going to go and get the recovery on go up this hill then down the gully then across to the other side so recovery is on that's an awesome result to get some venison on the deck empty mag first time i've uh emptied the mag on a pack of deer putting in a little bit of the the hill climbs get us back to the top and um, on the recovery mission to the other side try and get across there before it gets too dark happy dog this is the recovery vehicle i've got to go all the way along there and down to the end what an evening for it Girl. Good girl. Pepper's found the first deer. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That is a beautiful spiker. Good girl, hey? Found the deer. Good girl. Okay, well I've dragged the first one up. And here's the second one. It's another spiker. High shoulder. A pepper. So there we go two deer that is in beautiful condition as well okay guys well this is pretty close quarters stuff on the edge of the scrub here um still alive and i don't have my rifle i've only got this knife so i've got to go and get down into this deer quickly i'd obviously clipped this deer with um one of the shots and pepper brought us down this hill and found the deer for us. Hey girl! I've taken the head off and dragged it up out of that gully down there and um, we found it just sitting there. I had to dispatch it because it wasn't completely dead but um, mate what a find. Get your headlamp to work and work through the dark a bit. So this is the last, last one to process. One thing that I like to do, and I mean, not everyone obviously has a dog, but um, I like to give Pepper the, the fatty bits off, off the deer, and that's just a nice reward for her. Um, and that, you know, she's doing the right thing. Thank you. Into it. As to how much they'll eat of it. Oh, she's absolutely devouring that this time. Big fan of eating the heart, so we always keep that one. It's normally one of the things that we eat first, actually. Well, when I say we... <laughs> talking about my youngest daughter she's always reminding me to bring home the heart so I do tip of the trip is to always carry a spear knife and have it in your bum bag or on person because you never know when you're going to need it yeah moon is in full force. I've done two and I've got this last one here to go and then we'll be on our way. It's 
10 o'clock at night, so she's a late one. All right, team. Well, that is us. We're all squared away. One, two, three. All gutted. I've got the hearts over there. And um, what I always tend to do with the deer as well is to just take out that the esophagus or the tube which is just a cut down the inside of the tube and then you can pull it out it just helps when you hang these up it lets the blood drain down through the neck there knowing that in most cases you'll hang them up from the back legs uh, what I do with the back legs is just cut a little slit in them there as you can see so I'll go around and do that on these ones now and then we'll be ready to transport. It's now midnight, but uh, we're keen for some steak and cheese, so we're gonna send it. Blow on the pie. Blow on the pie. You must always blow on the pie. Safer communities together. Okay. Deserves that. Good deal. Good team effort today, eh? Three hearts in there. This is the carry bag. Pin needle. the small knife that I was using last night just goes to show you don't need to have a big knife to do the work on the animals it's the outdoor chiller doing its job so I've had the overnight hang bit of hang time on the good old washing line Well, that is us. We are bagged and tagged. Beautiful. So, yeah, that's sort of typically what the package will look like. Very nice size just to drop off at a lunch, dinner, give someone, you know, if people aren't hunters, possibly haven't had venison sausages before. So, always nice to share them around, share the love. And um, yeah, gifts them on.